Hey guys, it's Nick from PC Hacker 11 here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your logon screen in Windows Vista. So, first of all, I know a lot of people might already know how to do this, but uh, I finally just decided to go ahead and change my logon screen on Vista, and so I'm going to just show you guys how to do that now. Now, I the tool I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you download links to one that will work for XP, the one that will work for Vista here, and then I'm going to give links to two different programs that I know that will do this for Windows 7. But right now I'm going to just demonstrate this one for Windows Vista, which is called Logon Studio Vista. So. First of all, I have all the download links here. This is a link to the Logon Studio website, which you can download for XP and Vista users. I'm not positive that this will work with Windows 7, but I'm pretty sure it might. Can't hurt the try. Here is the download link for the Logon Studio for Windows Vista, which is the program that I'm going to be demonstrating this in. And then here is a link to one program that I know will do this for Windows 7. The same thing here. I'll post a link to this in the description. And then here's another program that will do the same thing for Windows 7. It will change your Windows 7 logon screen. But anyway, I'll post all the links to these in the description. And now I'm going to show you how to change your logon screen on Windows Vista. So first I'm going to go ahead and launch this up. Click Continue. And then I'll load this up. And as you see here, I have a few different logon screens that I already have. I have one here called Blue Starburst, one here called PCH1. So I have three PC Hacker 11 ones and then one Green Planet one. And then uh, the rest of these came with the software. So anyway, what I did was I made my own logon screens already. My logon screen at the moment now is this Blue Starburst one. But uh, anyway, let's just go through a quick overview of the program. Over here we have the load button, which you click on that, you can load different logon screens that you downloaded. You click on the download tab, it'll bring you up to the uh, Win Customized website, which will let you download a bunch of other free logon skins. But uh, I'm not going to post a link to that because you can just click on download there. The button here that says create lets you create your own logon screen with your own image. So if I go over here and click create, I can name my image whatever I want to, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and click browse here to choose my image first. So I think I'll choose the 3D text reflection. So I'm just going to keep that as 3D text reflection 1. I'm going to click save. And now I have the option to make my 3D text reflection wallpaper my uh, logon screen. So whenever I log on to the computer and I go to type in my password, I'd see this right here. So first what we do is we make our own logon screen, which I just showed you how to do too. Just go to that create button. Then you can either cl click on one and then click apply or double click on one and it'll basically temporarily log you out of your computer so it'll bring up the logon screen with your new background and then you just log back in and then you're fine. But uh, anyway, I'm not going to show you guys that because if I log out of the computer, my screen recorder is going to go blank temporarily and you won't be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm not going to do that. So basically all you do is double click on one of these or click on it and then click apply and then it'll set whatever that image is to your logon background. So right now mine is set at the blue starburst so that whenever I log on I see that. So. And then over here we just have a tab here that says upload where if we click on that we can upload our own logon images to the website but I don't want to do that. So basically this has just been a quick video from me PC Hacker 11 on how to change your logons your logon background inside of Windows Vista. I'll post a link to this download for Logon Studio Vista in the description. I'll post a link to the Stardoc website on Logon Studio and I'll post links to these two utilities that I know will do the same thing for Windows 7. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys. This has been a quick video from PC Hacker 11 and I'll see you later.